Hey YouTube, welcome back to another beginner series lesson. Today we're going to talk about the infamous hi-hat bark. That's right. Um, so what is the hi-hat bark? Well, this is really when, when you first start using your left foot, okay? Uh, and this can be a bit tricky, okay? Because up until now, you've only used three limbs, your right hand, your left hand, and your right foot. Okay, so now we're going to add in the left foot, so that, that definitely can complicate things um, just a little bit, okay? So again, what is the hi-hat bark? The hi-hat bark is when you, uh, while you're playing on the hi-hat, you lift up your left foot and raise the hi-hat to get this sound, okay? Uh, so what I'll do, just so you can, you can hear, is I'll play, uh, I'll play a little bit and kind of showcase that so you can kind of hear what I'm talking about and then I'll, then I'll uh, kind of teach you, uh, you know, how to do it, okay? But it's a common sound, it's used a lot, it's another texture, all right? Um, but it's used all the time and I'm sure you've heard it even if you don't realize uh, that you have. But uh, as soon as I play it, you'll go, oh, okay, I've heard that sound before. Okay, so I'm just going to play a little bit uh, just so I can showcase that sound so you get an idea of what exactly it is. And then uh, I'll teach you how to do it. Okay, let's, let's try it out. Okay, so that is the hi-hat bark, okay? And so what I did there is I just did a couple of um, various uh, basic examples on, on how to do this, okay? But, uh, let's, so, but let's go back to the beginning. Let's start off simple. Uh, let's use a simple way to get into this, okay? Uh, one, of the most common, one of the most common spots that you can put the hi-hat bark on is the and of four, okay? So how this is going to work is... Um, we're going to play eighth notes in the hi-hat. Use whatever bass drum pattern you want, but I do recommend to start off with something simple, like just on one and three to begin with until you get comfortable with this, and then you can start trying other bass drum patterns against this, okay? So we're going to go one and two and three and four. On the and of four, you're going to lift up your left foot and then close it on count one, okay? That's it. Nothing else changes. Okay? So you're going one and two and three and four and lift up that hi hat and then close it on count one. Okay? So I'm going to do just that, all right, with no bass drum. Okay? Just so you can hear, hear what that's going to sound like.
Okay, so that's that's basically it. That that I think is the most common spot to put a hi hat bar is on the end of four. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add the bass drum back in on counts one and three. But ultimately, you want to be able to add the hi hat bar to any bass drum pattern, any pattern whatsoever. Okay, but just to keep it simple, and that's what I recommend for you as well. Just put it on one and three to start off with. Okay, so let's let's see what that's going to sound like. Okay, so hopefully that made uh, that made sense. Uh, count, take it slow. But again, the only thing that's happening is your left foot, okay, on the end of four is just going one and two and three and four and one, and then closing back on count one. That's all that's happening, okay? One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. That's it. Nothing else is affected in the beat, so it's just your left foot coming up briefly, okay? All right, so from here, once you get comfortable with this, I would try to, to open the hi-hat on other ands, okay? Other upbeats. So maybe try the and of one, maybe try uh, the and of two, maybe try the and of three, okay? So what I'm going to do now, just to showcase that, is I'm going to go through all those those other um, those other upbeats, just so you can hear what it sounds like. I'll start off with the and of one, and then I'll do the and of two, and then I'll do the and of three, so you can hear what that sounds like. So again, remember, um, regardless of what upbeat or and that you open the hi hat on, it's going to close on the following downbeat. So if you open it on the and of one, it's going to close on two. If you open it on the and of two, it's going to close on three, okay? If you open it up on the and of three, it'll close on four, and so on and so forth, okay? So I'm going to do a few of those um, and just to see what that sounds like, okay? I'll do it nice and slow. Okay, so uh, so hopefully that that made sense. I just I did the and of one starting off, and then I did the uh, and of two followed by the and of three. So that's where I would start. Okay, um, once you can do that comfortably, uh, then you can start trying to do maybe combinations where you do um, like two hi hat barks. Okay, maybe do like the and of three followed by the and of four, uh, and then eventually you can move on on up to move, opening the hi hat on all the upbeats, okay, on all the upbeats. And, uh, and, and actually, I'm going to play that for you just so you can hear what that sounds like. Okay, so again, that's a really common one um, that's used in all sorts of various uh, dance music and, 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 and pop songs and stuff, so that's very common. Uh, so, so, yeah, so that's basically it. Um, one thing I would like to talk about, though, that, can, that I think you might find challenging is, again, you do want to try to use the hi-hat bark with other bass drum patterns, okay? But I think one area that might end up being... Um, 
confusing or, or, uh, or difficult for you to do at first is opening the hi-hat while playing a bass drum. Okay, like where, where the hi-hat bark and the bass drum hit happen uh, at the same time. Okay, so an example of this might be, um, let's, let's take this beat. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and on the bass drum. But I'm going to open the hi-hat, okay, on the and of one, all right, as well as the and of three. Okay, the and of one and the and of three. Let me play that for you real quick so you can hear it. Okay, so you notice on the and of one and and of three, the hi-hat bark is happening at the same time that you're playing the bass drum, okay? So there's a little bit of a, you know, there's some coordination that, that needs to, to be happening there, okay? That, that might mess you up a little bit, okay? So just remember, as the hi-hat's coming up, you're playing your bass drum, so your feet are, are essentially going to do this. Hi-hat comes up, your bass drum goes down, okay? Hi-hat's up, hit your bass drum. Okay, so just your feet are going to go just like that. So it, it might feel a little bit weird at first. So uh, what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a basic exercise to practice that will help you with that coordination. Okay, uh, and it's real simple. All right, all I'm going to do is I'm going to hit, I'm going to play a hi-hat bark and hit the bass drum and just go back and forth. Okay, so I'll do that for you real slow so you can, you can see what that is. But do this little exercise first. I think you'll find that once it feels comfortable for you that... Um, Playing the bass drum with the hi hat bark anywhere will be will be pretty simple. Okay, let's let's try that exercise. Okay, so uh, so there you go. That's a uh, real simple exercise, but it will definitely help you just get um, used to playing your bass drum with that with the hi-hat bar. Cause it's, it's a little goofy in the beginning. Okay, uh, so that really concludes um, this lesson, uh, at least on beginner hi-hat barks, okay? Um, now, today we just talked about opening the hi-hat on the upbeats or the ands. Um, I think those spots are the most common. Okay, um, but can you open the hi hat on the downbeats uh, or e's and uhs? Absolutely. Yep, you sure can. I'll probably do an intermediate and advanced uh, hi hat bark video later. Um, so yeah, you definitely can. Okay, for sure. But I would start out just work, just doing the ands at first because again, I think those are the most common spots, um, especially for a beginner. So I think I think those uh, the upbeats are the ones that I would get used to and master first, but you know definitely experiment. Um, but I'm going to do some uh, um, a later video on uh, on opening the hi hat and other spots as well. So uh, just you know stay tuned for that. But that's that's a great starting spot, and uh, you know hopefully once you get used to it, you'll be able to add hi hat barks uh, wherever you want to. Okay, it's a great sounding texture and um, uh, it's a really cool effect. Uh, the other thing that you can also experiment with is how high, okay, when you go to do the hi-hat bark, how high do you lift up your left foot, okay? So uh, this is kind of a subtle thing. You're going to get a different sound depending on how high you lift up your left foot, okay? If you lift up your left foot just a little bit, you're going to get more of a sizzle effect. Uh, if you lift it up all the way, or close to all the way, you're going to get a, a brighter, more open tone. 
Okay, I'm going to do a little bit of that right now, just so you can you can hear it. Um, and 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 all these are, are are viable. It just kind of depends on what kind of sound you want to go for. But I just figured I would add this in because it's it's definitely something you can do to give the hi hat bark a different um, you know a different tone, a different sound. Okay, so I'll do a little bit of that real quick so you can hear that. Okay, so again, hopefully uh, you heard the, the, the differences in that. Uh, so on some of them, I just barely lifted up my left foot and then got more of a sizzle effect where the, where the top and bottom cymbal are still vibrating with each other. And then uh, on some of them, I lifted the hi-hat all the way up where you only heard the top cymbal, the top, the top hi-hat cymbal. Okay, uh, so use both. Okay, they both give a, a, a good sound that's different and, and gives it, um, will give your grooves a different vibe and feel. So uh, experiment, okay? So that's going to wrap up um, our beginner hi-hat bark series. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, uh, just leave it in the comments, and I'll answer it the best I can. And uh, stay tuned for uh, more lesson videos uh, coming your way for intermediate uh, and advanced uh, levels. Uh, I've only got one intermediate uh, video out, but I'll definitely be adding some more as I go. There's, there's tons of stuff that I want to do. So just stay tuned, and um, I look forward to uh, pumping them out for you guys. Okay, so take care.